Hi, today I'm going to demonstrate for you the personal identity rainbow exercise. This is a great exercise for using with kids to help with identity integration and it's really easy to replicate in lots of different environments. The first thing you're going to want to do is to brainstorm what goes into my personal identity rainbow. Uh, the best way to do this is just to give kids a few categories to pick from and have them write some things down. Depending on the age of the kid, they may skip this step as a written down step and go straight to just colouring in and doing it all in their heads. But let's say we're going to do some categories and write some stuff down. Okay, so let's start with saying, what countries do you feel connected to? This might be countries you've lived in, countries you have a passport from, uh, you know, countries that your family come from, things like that. So in my case, I'm going to write down Australia. That's where I have my passport from. And I'm going to write down the three countries that I've lived in before. Then you might ask them, what languages do you speak? Or what languages do you feel a connection to? What languages have you learned? Uh, it might depend on the child which languages would count for them in this. This is all about what they feel is part of their identity. So I'm writing down English and Mandarin. The other category you may want to give them is what's something else that you feel is important to you? So maybe an activity, a quality, a characteristic. So in that category, I'm going to write down music. Some children will write down a sport that they play, uh, some, some talent that they have. Sometimes I've had kids write down a particular toy, uh, something that's important to them. Again, this will depend on age. So now we're going to take all of the things that we've written down and we're going to use them to draw a rainbow. Uh, one thing you can do is you want to tell them this is your rainbow. It doesn't have to look the same shape as a normal rainbow. It can be whatever colours you want. You might want to assign colours that are meaningful to you. So let's take a piece of paper to do my rainbow. So I'm going to start, well, Australia. I'm going to start with blue because that reminds me of the sky and the ocean in Australia. You want them to have a story to go with their rainbow. Everything should mean something. And they may not be able to express that straight away, um, but that's okay. So for the US, I'm going to go with green because it reminds me of the tall oak trees where we lived in Connecticut when I was a teenager there. Uh, for China, I'm going to go with red. It's a lucky colour in China. And we would have decorations in red for special holidays. For Cambodia, I'm going to go orange because of all the orange rooftops I remember in Phnom Penh. So you want them to have a reason they've chosen each colour. Now, some kids aren't going to really connect that. They're not going to have a real colour. might be like, well, this is what colour I have left that I haven't, I haven't assigned to something. As long as they know which colour stands for which thing and why it's important to them. So, okay, I'm up to Mandarin. Let's go with yellow because that's yellow and red are the two colours that we see in the decorations, like the pot plants that, um, and China's the country where I learned that. And then I'm left with purple uh, for singing, for music. Music makes me happy. And purple's my husband's favourite colour, so let's go with that. And now we have my personal rainbow. What's important is less the fact that I've made a rainbow and more the fact that I've got a story. By giving my list of things that are important to me and my identity and transforming it into this rainbow and this colouring activity, there's almost a mindfulness in sitting here and doing the activity, colouring in these colours and thinking about these places and these languages and these activities that matter to me. What I'm doing is I'm sitting there and I'm putting them all together in one place, making one beautiful picture together. If you're doing this uh, in a group setting, what you really want to do is then get children to tell their story to others, to share their story by having them come up and say, explain, tell us about your rainbow. Tell us the story of your rainbow. What does your rainbow mean? And it gives them a chance to integrate this story, to bring all these places and these aspects of themselves together in one place and tell that as a cohesive story that all of this is me, all of this is part of me. So that's the personal identity rainbow exercise. I hope you can see the possibilities there, the power there, the ways that you can shape that and do that differently and find ways to adapt that and use that in your own interactions with cross-cultural kids.